guys uh, well you didn't know what to do so I thought I'll just write this tutorial make a tutorial for you in this tutorial I'll uh, trace this skull with my pen tool and uh, see if we can make a cool wallpaper out of this You're making a kind of a shadowy thing metallic kind of a look so uh, this is a uh, skull that I drew earlier with the simple pen so I'll make a wallpaper out of this use it as a stencil so basically it's a stencil tutorial how to make a stencil and then make it into a wallpaper so I'll see, I have a new this another web uh, another file opened up the size is 19201200 and it's in 300 resolution in case I need to print it so I'll just bring it here now as you can see it's very small so maybe I'll just increase its size there we go alright now we'll trace it with the pen tool I hope you know a little bit about the pen tool how it works so here we go it's not a tutorial to teach you how to use a pen because a pen tool I mean because I, I'm, I'm guessing that you already know about it so I'm just gonna quickly create a stencil out of it. it's more about how to you know judge your areas okay uh, to know where to trace and not okay here we go so see this is one independent area it's not intersecting with anything now I'll go and make this one ah this happens a lot uh, okay here we go now we'll go ahead and draw the top of the skull hmm. don't worry you need to adjust it a lot here all right I need to make a corner so I'll bring it back yeah, I, I don't I'm not very specific about uh, the details uh, you might want to be very careful with what you're sketching and all that see I didn't go all the way I just turned from here okay from here we'll come all right okay I, I don't want to do this because this will be a problem let's just go straight see if I go from here and bring it over here and stop it then the problem will be that I won't be able to draw the top of the skull and I want to draw the top of the skull so I'll go back just the way I came and close it yeah, like this yeah and okay it might look okay but there might be some issues with the curves so let's just check it out hey it looks like phantom alright That's more like it. Okay, so these are connected. Let's just connect them. There you go. This is intersecting, but don't worry about it. We'll fix it when we're covering. Okay, next we need to take care of the headphones. Let's take care of the headphones. All right, I go straight from here, and then I, um, you see, I am deliberately uh, crisscrossing my other parts and don't worry about that mm, and the very same thing on this side you might want to trace it in any other way there are millions of ways of doing it uh, just I think it's very subjective how you want to do it and there we go that went a little overboard from here I will go up and there you go 
now we need to create a little bit of shadow here that will make it look a little realistic a little good and there you go I don't like this one looks like wall tank alright let's do that and now we also need to create this path so what I'll do is I'll create a small outline on the top and uh, bring it just like this so basically this will be a cutout we'll color all this and we'll just subtract this one all right we can do it here as well there you go now for the teeth we'll keep them as simple as possible so that they look quite real all right okay intersected it a little so our trace is complete now comes the tricky part go to the paths I'll deselect it all right it already looks pretty good okay I don't want to keep it white I think I'll give it a dark background all right so um, you can't see this area not purple black just a little gray there you go mm, that's too dark yeah let's leave it up and we'll make the skull in white so first of all select this part and this part these are two individual parts so I'll just click on this button and make a selection make we are already on a new layer make sure that you are on a separate layer for this and I'll make it white there you go done see you can leave it here but no we we'll have to complete it so now we'll go ahead and make this selection and there you go let's select this one and go oh sorry and go see now we just need to select all the stencils the teeth oh don't don't no 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 not the teeth uh, because I'm going to intersect these so we have already made the selections deselect the paths because you don't want to delete them come here all right and then press delete there you go you see it's, it's already taken the shape now I just need to select the teeth make a selection and our skull is complete there you go all right all right this is pretty good a uh, little problem here and here so we'll fix it with the brush tool simply select your brush tool and fill the gap it's pretty easy you can always cheat with things like that okay let's add a little drop shadow I always like to keep it at 0 uh, 5 and 7 alright it's very subtle let's duplicate the layer now the effects have doubled and we don't want that so I'll just switch off the effects from the previous layer so this is my duplicate layer over here I'll give it a little bit of metallic look by selecting burn bring it to highlights keep it at 50 uh -huh. there you go and now use a little bit of dodge keep it at highlights there you go and to make things a little more dramatic you can also do you know just give a little shine to his teeth and maybe here here right so another effect that you can add is bevel and emboss 
I want it to be inner bevel. Yes. Now you need to play a little bit with this. Okay. Uh, there you go. Alright. You see this small white thingy coming down here. It's not because of some error in the program, but because it's from the previous layer. So I'll just switch it off here. See? It's very clear. We duplicated this layer, so don't worry about it. Okay, I don't want the shadows to be totally black as yes, that's more like it. Check it out now. Oh yes. It's pretty good. We can still play with it. Mm. We can be very sharp or we can make it a little subtle. Very subtle. A little bit. With it, yeah. Maybe the size can be decreased a little. Uh, okay. I think four will be okay. All right. That's good enough, I think. And now our skull is complete. We can also add some text to it, something like "Rock Dead." That is quite suitable for this kind of skull. Okay, let's increase the size. Yeah. So uh, instead of you know doing all the bevel and thingy, I'll simply copy these. Yeah, we'll copy layer style, and then I'll apply this layer style. Uh, you can't see it. I'll show it to you. Paste layer style here. Okay, I'll talk it again. So I've uh, pasted the same settings. So everything is there. There's a bevel. You can actually see it. See, but uh, this gradient effect isn't there because it's a text layer. And if you need to apply the gradient, you need to rasterize it. So before you rasterize it, why not duplicate it and hide the previous layer? Now you can rasterize it, and now it has. You see, there's a difference. This is a text layer. This is a raster layer. It's just like a, a normal selection. So now you can use the burn and the other tools on it. There you go. Now a little bit of dodge will do. Hmm. Not exactly what I had in mind. There you go. That's pretty much it. Now to give it a little bit of depth, you can actually take the burn tool and you know darken the sides. You can also do it all by using the radial you know gradient blending options, gradient overlay, but I like to do it with my own hands. It's more natural that way. And I have the total control of the process. There are millions of things that you can do with this. I like it the way it is right now. Maybe a little more dodge on this one. It's more shiny now. And just add a little burn on this. Yeah, this will do, I think. So, there you go. Uh, just a very simple tutorial. And I did it to kill my time. Hopefully, you will like it. And Maybe see you some other time. Alright guys, thank you.